This is a video tutorial of the highlight.org toolbar and its uses. First of all, let me describe the items that exist on the highlight.org toolbar. First of all, at the very far left is a link to highlight.org. So whichever tab you have open in a browser, if you click on this link, it will take you to highlight.org. The next item on the toolbar is a link to the report of the highlights that the user has created. In this case, this clicking on this link will take me to the report for Mark. The next item on the toolbar tag is the tag feature which allows you to enter words that are descriptive about the text that is being highlighted, especially words that may not exist in highlighted text. The next item on the toolbar is a drop-down list of all of the available topics that exist for highlights. Uh, to begin with, there are about a thousand topics that have been predefined, but you can create your own topics and personalized uh, for your own personalized highlighters. The next item, next two items on the toolbar are the two most recent or three most recent or up to five most recent highlights that have been applied, and uh, this is depending on the amount of screen that is available. If you're in a high resolution display, you can see up to five buttons. If you're in a low resolution, in this case 800 by 600, you can only see two. But I'll demonstrate shortly how these buttons are used. The next item on the toolbar is a search box that allows you to type in words that, that exist in the highlight, to search for in the highlight database. After typing in some words here, you can click on this button, the magnifying glass and the highlighter icon, and that will perform a search on highlight.org. The next item on the toolbar is a new addition to version 2.0 of the toolbar, and that is the view highlights on this page, and I'll also demonstrate how that works. The last item on the toolbar is a question mark, and that is the online help for highlight.org, and it shows how to use the features of the toolbar as well as the website, which also includes video tutorials such as this one. Okay, let me demonstrate how the toolbar works. Uh, first of all, Let's go to a web page. In this case, this is a page on the New York Times website. Uh, it's a great article on the history of neurosurgery. And in this case, let it let me select, let me go to this article. And let me highlight some words I think are important. Let's go ahead and select this text here. Using the mouse, just as you would select text normally. Let me demonstrate how to select text or select an image. And all you do is you right mouse click, and that brings up the submenu. Then you select the item that says highlight image for highlight.org. That's the extent of what's required. Then you can click on a button in the toolbar, in this case medicine, and we have now created a highlight on highlight.org from the, this in this case the New York Times website. This shows me the title of the page that the highlight came from, the URL, the person that created the highlight, as well as the topic that was selected. Let's do another one, in this case a simpler one. Let's just grab this text and click on the science button. We did not have to select an image. We can if we want to, but it's not required. And just that easy, just select text with a mouse and click on a single button, and that is then stored in your database. Let us now go to the highlight.org website and see how that has worked. We go to the highlight.org website, and we now see some new items that exist. Uh, we selected this text. If we did not select an image with it, we automatically get the icon from the website so we can know where this highlighted text came from. If we selected some images, we can see the image that was selected there. So very easily, we have selected text images and put that into our highlight database, which is there for our permanent use. Let me demonstrate one additional item, and that is how to create a, a, select a new um, topic. In this case, let's go for anatomy. So I typed in ANA, and I've got analysis. I guess anatomy is not a topic, so let's just use um, advice. And let's select some text. Click on the topic that we just selected, advice. Click on the button, advice, and that 
information has been highlighted and now put into our database on highlight.org under the topic of advice. It really is that simple. Now we can return to this page that we have highlighted information on. Let's turn on the highlights that are on that page by clicking on this button. As we scroll down, we can see the text that has previously been highlighted is now re-highlighted for us to review and, and reference. We can see not only words that we have highlighted, but words that other people have highlighted on this page. Let us perform one additional test, a demonstration of how this works. Let's type for the word brain, type, up, type the word brain in the search box, and click on the search button, and we'll now perform a search on highlight.org and we now see that there was no result of the word brain in the advice topic. Let's change that again. Let's change this and search for brain anywhere in any topic and now we can see that we've got several highlights of the word brain in different topics including science and probably technology and medicine as well.